Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to walk you through how to use a really cool application tool called Goblin Tools. You can find this easily by um, clicking on the internet browser and typing Goblin Tools and then look for the one with this nice little goblin symbol. Open it up and here you go. So what I'm going to do is show you some of the settings and then we're going to work through each of the different features. Um, Goblin Tools is basically a really nice um, AI driven application that allows you to organize your life and support you in work. First thing I'm going to show you here is you can change from white to dark mode which is quite nice. Um, you can also leave feedback. You can also download this for your um, phone, your smartphone and you can also use it as a web app. If you use it as a web app then you can add it to your taskbar at the top so you don't need to be uh, opening up the web browser each time. Go straight to there and it opens up and you're ready to go. So let's look at the first one. This is magic to do. Breaking down things so you don't have to. So what we're going to do here is just talk through some things I've got to do and um, <clears throat> we're going to get this to break it down for us. You can type them in or you can use the microphone. I'm going to use the microphone so here we go. Okay. Okay. So uh, I've got to go down to the shops and I've got to pick up some bread and then I've got to go and drop in the car at 13.45 for an MOT but I also need to go to the bank and get some money out, £50 then I've got to go and pick up the cat from the vets and I think that's at 12.30 and then I will need to phone home, um, speak to my sister and then I must make sure that I print out my holiday form So I have um, recorded this and um, now I press add and then I break down the items and this should create me a list of things to do. Here we go. So I've got to go to the shops, pick up bread, drop the car off, go to the bank and so on and so on. Now what's quite nice as well is this little um, jalapeno or spicy pepper. Uh, indicator so if I click on that I can show how much breaking down I need so this is really good for you if you need um, kind of step-by-step -step, um, overview of what to do then you can stick it right up to the top and then that will break it down into smaller steps but if you want it fairly basic you can drop it down to the lowest one okay so looking quite good. I can then go down to each item. So drop the car off for uh, 30 for the MOT. I can go into there and because I've chose spicy, hopefully that should break it down now into smaller things to do. <laughs> Click the keys. This is like a really granular, um, granular thing that I have to do. Okay. That's maybe too spicy. So that's magic thing to do, quite useful. Um, let us know what you think and how you get on. Let's have a look at the next one. So this next one is the formulizer and it turns spicy thoughts into classy ones or vice versa. So you put in the content or what you want to change and then um, nice drop down menu here and you can choose how you want it to formulize it. So I want this to become more professional and to ask for a refund for the car service. And again, you've got the spicy um, jalapenos. How strong do you want the text to come across? Really spicy, less spicy. So I'm going to go for strong here. Press convert. Kindly request reimbursement for the automation services provided. Um, let's go more sociable. Hey there, so would it be awesome if you could just totally ask you for a refund for the car service? More passionate. I 
So this is quite nice if you've got a, an email to send somebody or you've got an idea of what you want to send. Um, and you can choose how you want it to come across. Really useful. And then obviously you've got the level of spiciness. So if I drop that down to fairly basic and now convert it, we won't get something as strong as that. Please, I urge you to ask for refund your car services. And uh, you can copy it. Now it can go onto your clipboard. Let's have a look at the next one then, which is the judge. So this one is my favorite and it's a really useful tool for judging the tone of a communication, either that you send or that you receive. So in this scenario, I'm going to paste in a email that I got from somebody. And um, it says urgent issue of a performance. I don't know what's going on, but your work lately has been seriously lacking. You even, are you even trying anymore? We're all picking up your slack and it's getting old. And what I want to do is use the Goblin tool to judge the kind of tone of this email. So let's judge it, see what it says. The text comes across as very confrontational and aggressive. <clears throat> the tone is critical and accusatory. The sense of disappointment and frustration. <laughs> Okay, so it's quite good to, um, you know, if you, if you misread the tone of an email, you're not sure, it's quite good to run it through here and see if people are just being professional or if there is uh, an issue with it. Let's try another example. So in this one, I'm going to put in a nice email. So this is telling someone about their work, how well they've been doing, heartfelt and appreciative really good okay so that's part one of the videos um, we've covered a magic to-do list which um, you can basically waffle through and it creates a to-do list for you which you can then copy um, make changes to you can also sync it and export it which is really good so I export it to my calendar save it to a file so here we go and then I've also got the formulizer which can check check take text, make it more professional, change the style. Um, and then I've got the judge tool, which judge the tone of an email or a communication, uh, gives you some feedback on the tone. So don't forget to check out part two, where we'll look at the estimator, the compiler, and the chef. Many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.